insane. This is a beautiful snake. Is this a male or a female? What's really crazy about the Egyptian cobra, guys, is it is the snake believed to be used by Cleopatra for suicide. They're just such a cute lizard, man. It is one of the two more toxic lizards. There are a couple different venomous lizards on the planet. Usually people feed pigeons, but uh, Tom Crutchfield feeds the red iguanas. It's a relaxed response to the red those are called jowls. That's all the muscle you use to crunch down when they bite. So even though he's very friendly, if he did want to bite me, he could cut me open pretty good. But as you can see, he is one of the friendliest iguanas on the planet. And in my book, the friendliest. This one, just because this is your snake, I'm not familiar with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, guys, this right here is a banded Egyptian cobra. Tyler, you want to talk about it? You've had this guy for a long time. Yeah, this uh, particular snake is 14 years old. Uh, had him since he was, you know, pipped that egg and came out. Great snake, great personality, super awesome temperament, very, very chill. This is what this is. Uh, this is what you call a broken cobra. This is called a broken cobra. This is one that doesn't really do much. So guys, on my channel, you've seen my Egyptian covers. They're almost like a solid dark brown or black. And this is the banded version of the Egyptian cobra. This is so pretty. It's got such vibrant yellows and solid black bands. And it's the second longest species of African cobra. It's insane. Look at that. This is a big specimen. How old is the snake again? He's 14 years old. 14 years old. That is insane. This is a beautiful snake. Is this a male or a female? That is a male. That is a male? Awesome, man. You've done an awesome job taking care of this animal. Beautiful colors. I'm just going to put them right back in the enclosure now. Go back in. What a beautiful... Look, look at the colors, guys. This is such a beautiful snake. What's really crazy about the Egyptian cobra, guys, is it is the snake believed be used by Cleopatra for suicide. So their venom is extremely, extremely toxic. It's no joke. And it's got nasty cocktails of a couple different types of venoms, different toxins compared to the Southeast Asian cobras. So if you get bit by one of these guys, there's a lot more, a lot more problems that are gonna come along with that bite than what a Southeast Asian cobra. Insane. Right. Thank you for letting me handle it, man. Of course. I appreciate it. Anytime, bud. Alright, what do you got going on, man? <laughs> These are Gila monsters. Yeah. They're just such a cute lizard, man. Like, I mean, look at that. A venomous you, lizard. How could you not like that? This lizard is from the Heloderm family, and it is one of the two more toxic lizards. There are a couple different venomous lizards on the planet besides these guys. You got, you got beaded lizards, you got Gila monsters, and you got Komodo dragons. And then you got the ones that people have been doing research on, like the lace monitor, and the oh, black yeah, They've been studying the glands and figuring out that they have like a mild saliva. Yeah. That's a, that's a venom. But uh, that's insane, man. Look at these guys. What's really cool is I actually have the Heloderm permit for here in South Florida to own beaded lizards and heel monsters. So this has been an animal that I've wanted to get for a long time. This is awesome. How long have you had this guy? She oh, is, yes. Oh, this, I'm sorry, Sheila. She is, uh, I think she's about six years old now. That is so cool. Yep. And she's your little baby. She's just hanging out. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's, we've spent many nights together just watching TV on the couch. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, now these guys are nicknamed suicide lizards because if you get bit, you want to commit suicide. Yeah, yeah I've actually crazy. been bit twice. Really? By uh, by a beaded lizard and a gila, and it is definitely not fun at all. All right, man. I appreciate you showing us. Bye, bye. That is a long, terrible line of traffic. 
What is going on, guys? I am here with Tyler. We are on our way down to South. What's going on here, What is going on, guys? I am here with Tyler Nolan. We are on our way to Tom Crutchfields. This is an amazing reptile ranch. Tyler's very good friends with them, and this is gonna be my like third time visiting this facility. I'm just getting to know Tom. He has amazing wildlife when it comes to reptiles. He has crazy things like monkey-tailed skinks. He has a, a whole bloodline of crimson iguanas, I believe. Crutchfield crimson. Crutchfield crimson. They're orange, they're vibrant orange, and they have fiery Beautiful. red eyes. They're insane looking iguanas. We're actually gonna go and check out his venom lab. That's where I brought my two cobras, or actually, Mark belonged to you originally, yep. and then we were holding on to them at our facility. And also, I donated my small monocled cobra to the facility as well. So they're actually at the venom lab. We might check them out and see how they're doing. And uh, we're gonna see all kinds of really cool stuff. He's got crazy iguanas, he's got venomous reptiles, big lizards, rhino iguanas, all kinds of awesome stuff. And uh, he's gonna be picking up a new snake. Yeah. That's venomous. Wonder what we're getting. Oh, what's it gonna be? Is it King Cobra? Mangshang Viper? Oh, Is it man. gonna be a giant rattlesnake? So much cool stuff. Or is it gonna be like a Komodo dragon? Ugh. Are we getting a Komodo dragon? All right guys, I will see you at the ranch. Let's get it. You gotta go through all kinds of terrain, so you gotta have the right vehicle to get to Tom Crutchfield's house. He's got the worst room. What's me? That's the kind of vehicle you need to get to Tom Crutchfield's. Tyler, you got a nice, uh, nice truck going on right here. Get the job done. What's going on, dude? Just hanging out. My name's Fiona. Yeah. That's awesome. You want a big bread? I'll bring a piece of bread, and they can film me. That, that, you want to be that look over that? there, like giving me the yeah. tilted head. Now let me just say this too: Fred is not going to bite you at all, ever. Okay? You can hold, you know, bread in your hand and feed Fred without any problem. Feed him bread? Well, yeah, he loves bread. It's like a treat. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, no, he likes it. So. He's, he so, looks like he's waiting for it, actually. Is that his little uh, station? Uh, he doesn't get it every day, but yeah, we do give it to him there, so he's hoping that we do. Okay, so we're going to be feeding Ryan Week Corner. We're going to feed Fred. I love his name, Fred. Yeah. <laughs> like my grandpa. Yeah, oh my goodness. Usually people feed pigeons, but uh, Tom Crutchfield feeds the Ryan Week Corners. So that stone. Right there. Well, let's see what oh, he oh, just okay. grabbed the bread. Just a little no, piece. He, he sees you. Oh, the whole piece. No, no. We we'll just watch you sit down. Yeah, just sit go sit right yourself just on. Sit right here. here. He'll, he'll come okay. out over to you. Is this what you want? Correct. Is this a rooster? Yeah, I think. And uh, oh, look, how he, look how he's it's a rooster. tilting his head. He's looking at it. Remember, oh, he, sees, but he sees better looking sideways. That is crazy. A, he wants to make sure that it's worthwhile for him to come over. Fred, hey. Does it look appetizing to you, Mr. Fred? Do you want to dine over here? How old is Fred? He's about, uh, it's about 30 years old, probably. 25 30. or 30. Wow. They live a lot longer. Is this what you want, buddy? Hemingway. Hemingway? On the other side. A little bit of bread. Take a look, Fred. It's a little bit of bread. Hey, not you. It's a relaxed response that Rep House had. The motivation. And, and that's why it's hard to make it very colorful. He's coming. <laughs> it's for you, buddy. Here, have just a little bit. Come on over. Good boy. Just a little bit of bread for Fred. Guys, look how gentle this lizard is going in between my legs, in between my family jewels. I'm letting him get that close because I trust him. He's very gentle. Tom has raised this animal up. It is around 30 years old. And he's raised it up from a little baby. And now he's just super gentle because he understands people, not a threat at all. Actually, a good way to dine down. And he likes bread as snacks, look at that.
They're a super impressive lizard. And those big, fat, fleshy things on the sides of the neck, those are called jowls. That's all the muscle used to crunch down when they bite. So even though he's very friendly, if he did want to bite me, he could cut me open pretty good. But as you can see, he is one of the friendliest iguanas on the planet. And in my book, the friendliest. He's an awesome guy. Good boy. So we're just gonna hang out, we're friends now. And in that cranium, even though that their brains are not that big, they're actually very intelligent, curious animals. A lot more intelligent than some people I know. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that was awesome, thank you.